What's up everybody, in today's episode of Cars and Cameras, we show you the full build of putting a Honda 550cc motorcycle engine on a Little Tykes Cozy Coupe car. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Oh, 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 the top fit on now. Dang it, Bobby. So how, how is this gonna work, dude? I don't think it is. I mean, look at it. Here are the options. We have that, which is kind of what we already had. We had a flight approach, and then we had gasser, like we were originally thinking we were gonna do. I don't know that I like gasser, man. I think I want it like that. It looks like a freaking Hot Wheels car, and it's awesome. I think I kind of like that better. Yeah. Here's a rough outline of what we want the Cozy Coupe hot rod to look like. We decided to nix the gasser idea. Just with the size and the shape of the body, we don't think a gasser chassis would look great underneath it. So, most of the parts we're going to be using are from GoPowerSports.com. Spindles, hubs, wheels, tires, axles, brakes, all that stuff can be bought at GoPowerSports.com. Whether you're doing maintenance, you're making upgrades, or you're building a vehicle from scratch, GoPowerSports can hook you up for your go-karts, mini bikes, and all kinds of other power sport equipment. Without any further ado, it's time to channel the body. Yeah. Oh, dude, we are. Spot on, dude. Excellent. So, I got our front axle welded up. Now we're gonna chop some length off of the frame, tack it up, and mock everything up again. Uh, that's not good. Gotta fix that. That's about good. Do you want me to hold it for you or you got it? You know, I think I can handle it. So all we have to do now tension the engine. is tension the engine and tack it. Yeah. 
Let's do it. All right, so I have most of the exhaust studs in the engine. Ike is working on the engine wiring. We pulled these really cool exhaust pipes out of Ike's junkyard off of an old 550 Honda. So I'm going to chop them where we have about a foot of pipe coming out of the uh, engine, and then we'll figure out what to do with those later on. So, like I mentioned in the beginning of today's video, we are using four 24 millimeter flat slide carburetors from gopowersports.com. Uh, probably a little bit too much carburetor for this application, but they all fit in line and uh, we just happen to have all of them already on us. Um, so it's just a matter of getting them to all fit. Yeah, that's gonna be so cool. Yes. It's coming together, man. It's just perfect. <laughs> stop and a fool with this a little bit get it optimized then after that we can install our side pipes <laughs> Ignition. That's awesome. Key. Yes. Ignition. Yes. Or starter. <laughs> yeah. There it is. All I gotta do is tighten it down. We understand that this is highly flammable. It'll be alright. We got a bucket of water on standby. We no, just, we don't. The Koza Coop doesn't need pimples. <laughs> Angle's not perfect, but no biggie. Well, it's a good thing we are expert gap welders. That's right, certified. Yeah, I kind of like that. 
no, there ain't no kind of like, I love it. All right, so let's figure out the front chain guard, then we can weld it all up solid. All right, man, are you ready? As ready as I'm gonna be. We have no throttle pedal, no clutch, no brakes. We're ready for a test ride. Well, test run real quick, and then we're gonna open up the door and take it outside. No choke. Turning radius. Not bad. Uh oh. No, it's gonna uh -oh. go. Yeah. This uh. Oh, it fell off. <laughs> no bolt. No bolt. Dude, it's gonna haul some butt. Yeah. Oh, good. Hey, grab the gas cam. I think that's gonna be awesome. Got to figure out the position for this right here for the pivot for the pedal. I just want to say that it sounds so good. So what else do we have to do? We just got to take it for a rip, right? Yeah. My work cut out for me. What was my time? 26 18. I was taking it easy. Yep. Are you marked? 
I could have been a lot faster, I'll say it right now, but anyway, yeah. <laughs> That's okay, I'll live with that. All right. It's, um, it's a squirrely one. Yeah. I dare say this has the best hole shot out of anything we've ever built. It's got a heck of a hole shot. How does your face feel? It. it it, it pulls pretty hard, but yeah. all it does is spin. It doesn't even feel like it's going to pick the front wheels up. Really? Yeah. Honestly, I'm not that upset, though. I'm not upset either. If you enjoyed this Supercut episode, let us know down in the comments and leave us a thumbs up. We had big plans for this project, to go to the uh, Pate Swap Meet down in Texas, to go to the drag strip, to, to go to an air show with it. We had it all lined up, but then... Um, COVID hit and everything got shut down. So uh, I'd, I would love to circle back to this project sometime in the future and take it out to the drag strip and do all those things that we originally planned on doing with it. But remember, if you need any parts for your go-karts, mini bikes, or other custom builds, visit gopowersports.com using links in this video's description. Uh, visit our website, cars-cameras.com, if you wanna help support us in our future builds and pick up a t-shirt, one of our hats, one of our new pins, uh, or one of our stickers as well. Check us out on Facebook at Cars and Cameras Reviews and John underscore Cars and Cameras on Instagram to see what we're doing in between videos. And as always, check out Isaac uh, on YouTube and Instagram at Isaac. It'll be fine. Thanks for watching, guys. We have our West Virginia special coming up very, very soon. It's going to be a two-parter. Uh, 400 gigabytes worth of footage, which is roughly 12 times the regular episode. So it's going to be a long couple of episodes. Anyway, uh, stay tuned for that. Thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you next time. I sure hope it'll fit right. I'll tell you what, buddy, I'm happy with that. Yeah, you couldn't ask for a tighter fit. Yeah, there we go. So you want to try to climb in or? Oh, oh wait a second, oh wait a second, I got it.